I think I've found my new favorite Mitsubishi in Forza Horizon 4. The next two upcoming weekly Forza-thon challenges, we have to and can use the Mitsubishi Evo 6, which is a retro rally car. In case anyone's not aware yet, there is a new DLC car pack in Forza Horizon 4, the Mitsubishi car pack, and the car from it that we're going to have to use, and this is a free car pack for everybody, the 1999 Mitsubishi Evo 6. This thing is amazing. I've really only spent time with two of the cars from the car pack. I like the Evo 6 better than the Evo 8 in this game. So here's my tune. Just search for creator Stevio2175. I promise you, you will love this car. It's in the A class. It has the stock motor and it is just amazing. So you're going to see why in this gameplay as we go along here. But for the next two weeks, we're going to kind of cover a little bit of both of these. Since we need to earn three stars at the Derwent Water Speed Zone, and we also need to earn a total of 12 stars in the next Forza-thon event for Speed Zones. So we might as well practice on the one where we're going to need to get three stars. You just want to go to your world map and filter for those Speed Zones. Make sure you don't get them mixed up with the Speed Traps. And the Derwent one is obviously really close to the lake. Derwent Water, it is right here. It is an off-road zone. And that is why the tune that I made is for dirt racing and dirt anything. It is just amazing. It's so much fun. Still really fun to cruise around with on the streets as well, but I don't necessarily recommend racing it on asphalt. But the goal for three stars is 95 miles per hour. And you're going to see me hit over that a bunch of times in my A-class car. Not only do I do that, but I'm actually ranked like in the top 15% in the world using my A-class car for this speed zone. So that's pretty impressive, I think. Now, the main things that you want to focus on when you're doing speed zones, especially off-road ones and this particular one. Now, keep in mind again, this particular Forza-thon event that's coming up in about two days where we have to use the 1999 Evo 6. You don't have to do this speed zone, but I figured it's a good way to practice since you can do the same speed zone over and over to get the stars that you need. My tune, you can easily get three stars. Again, if you want to upgrade further, you want to get a faster tune for this thing, it's obviously possible. You can do a motor swap, but I hate doing motor swaps. I never do. And if you can get three stars with my A-Class tune, why go any further? The A-Class is perfect for this car. You can't really even get it to the top of the S1 class unless you motor swap. It's it just, to me, it's not worth it. But... The thing you need to focus on when going through this zone is kind of cutting the corners a little early. Kind of like I did right there, you want to cut to the left and then cut to the right to maintain as much speed as possible so you don't have to brake as much. It's a fantastic method to do any speed zones really, asphalt or dirt, and for this one it's really important just to get that extra little bit of speed. And it's much easier coming from this side which is technically the top of the map because if you come from the other side as you just saw, you have to go through the water right at the start of the speed zone and that really slows down your original momentum and your acceleration. So I do recommend starting from the top, starting from the side that we started on this particular clip and this is the way that I was able to get the highest overall speed. So I was really annoyed. I was like, seriously? 99.99 miles per hour. Come on Forza, just give me the 100. Like seriously? I was so pissed I had to go back and do it again, but I figured it was good to show you guys a few different runs and how you should do this. You want to start all the way back, just full throttle, fully accelerate, and gain as much speed as you can going into the speed zone, and then just cut those corners a little bit. Stay in like third, fourth gear, I'd say third is probably the best, just so you can get the most power coming out of the turn. And this speed zone, man, I never did it before. First try I got it, and I just kept getting my personal best to go higher and higher and higher. So. I really hope that that helps you with the speed zones in case anyone's not too familiar with how to successfully do the off-road ones. But the next thing we're going to have to do is win five dirt racing series events. You just want to go to your world map. This is very simple and easy. Filter for the dirt racing series. Once you do that, you can pick any of the races. I do recommend picking a scramble because it's basically like a asphalt circuit race. You can make it one lap. This will make it as quick and easy as possible and obviously you can put it on easy difficulty, so one lap you'll be able to win no problem. Now, when you're blueprinting the event, just for anyone who's not familiar with this, you, you probably want to do it in solo because you have to win. There's no reason to do it online. You have to use the 1999 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6, so just keep that in mind. 
and just go to event settings, make it one lap, and the rest of it really does not matter. You can change the season, you don't have to keep it in autumn, which is what it's going to be when this Forzathon goes live. But the main thing is difficulty. If you don't think you can win, if you're not a good driver, if you're not a good dirt racing driver, put your difficulty down as low as you have to, but just to prove how good my tune is, I ran this race on unbeatable, did the three full laps, and completely destroyed the competition. So I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. You're just going to be able to see me race here, and we are going to talk a little bit more before I stop commentating this video, but I just wanted to let you know this is the race for that, the final challenge of this Forzathon event. Challenge of Arrival, which will be live on the 24th of January. So January 24th, all the way through January 31st. It will be the final Forzathon weekly challenge in Forza Horizon 4 for January 2019. But once again, you will also be able to use the Evo 6 and my A-Class tune for it for the next weekly challenge, which will be starting on January 31st and ending on February 7th, Fond Memories. So. We already talked about the Derwent Water Speed Zones, there are a couple other challenges we will cover next week, but I probably will make a tune for another car just to switch it up, but the 99 Evo is so much fun to drive, and it's such a great car, I might just not, I might just end up using it again for another week in a row for the weekly challenge. But the reason this car is awesome, and as you're going to see watching throughout this gameplay, the handling is insane. The launch is like perfect and smooth, I made the gearing ratios really crisp and fun to shift and use. The car is just amazing, and it's even fun to cruise around with on the asphalt. Now, it's not the highest top speed in the game, obviously, it's only in the A class and it's meant for dirt racing, but it's extremely good at dirt racing and still very fun to just cruise with. So, has the stock motor, race transmission, rally tires, I customized it a little bit, different from bumper, different wing, and the stock blue looks really good. Now the Evo 8 looks nicer than this car, it looks nicer than the Evo 6, but I sincerely think that the Evo 6 performance wise in the A class, the way comparing at least my two builds and tunes, the Evo 6 definitely feels way better to drive. So I love it, let me know what you think, please download my tune, give it a try, give me some feedback. I really hope you enjoyed the video, hope that it helped you out, hope it made you aware of the weekly challenge, challenge of our rival, where you're going to be able to win some more Forzathon points and enjoy driving the 99 EVO 6. I'm out of here though guys, have a great week, peace.
yards. Turn left. Turn left. <laughs> 